An insurer won't cover treatment of a man's foot injury and then tries to put its best foot forward in Silberg v. California Life Insurance Company. Enrique Silberg was self-employed and rented space for his business and performed some tasks at his landlord's laundromat for a reduction in rent. Silberg bought a health insurance policy from California Life Insurance. The policy covered up to $5,000 in medical bills after a small deductible, but stated it wouldn't cover injuries also covered by workers' compensation. In 1966, Silberg severed his foot in an accident while working at the laundromat. Doctors were able to reattach the foot, but Silberg needed four operations. The total cost of Silberg's care neared $7,000. Later, Silberg resolved a workman's compensation claim and received $3,700. Though the insurer had prompt notice of the injury, hospitalizations, and Silberg's modest means, it refused to pay Silberg's bills. If the compensation claim had been denied, the insurer would have investigated Silberg to determine if he lied on his insurance application before paying. At one point, the insurer offered to pay $200 to resolve the claim. Silberg couldn't pay his bills, so he often changed care providers for his surgeries. Silberg had two children to support. He lost his business, couldn't afford housing, utilities, or pain medication, and his wheelchair was repossessed. Silberg's mental health suffered. Silberg sued the insurer, asking the court to declare that the policy applied to his injuries. Also, Silberg sought damages for the insurer's bad faith. The court determined that, because the policy was ambiguous, the insurer had to pay. A jury awarded Silberg $75,000 in compensatory and $500,000 in punitive damages. The court granted the insurer's motion for a new trial and stated the damages were excessive without giving the reason. Silberg appealed, and the insurer appealed the court's decision on the policy.